An introduction to Karat Adamai Noahide Faith Zero. An introduction to Karat Adamite Faith Noahide Faith Zero. Okay, first of all, there's a comic, Series Zero. Uh, this is from uh, Dynamite Comics. It's Project Superpowers Issue Zero. Now, um, in comics, I do a lot of Zero issues, which is uh, set before Issue One. And um, it's actually very common in comics, especially back in the 90s. DC Comics ran Zero Hour for a while, and uh, every comic that month had a zero issue zero issue there was 40 of them from memory so action comics had a zero batman had a zero um hawkman had a zero and so on and so forth and uh there was a lot happening at zero in comics and often in comics zero was a origin issue actually so it was about the origin of things a zero now um in Bargain Hunt, the show on TV, um, the, um, they get money to spend on antiques and stuff, and they have to, if they can, make a profit. And often they go into debt on it. The Bargain Hunt, the English show on buying antiques and stuff from a, from a, a fair and things, an uh, antique store, an antiques fair and things, and, um, they buy them, and then it's auctioned off later in the show, the, the items they buy. And if they make a profit, they make a profit. And if not, they, they don't. And Tim Wanakot is a host, but not always the host. Um, some hosts now, Tim Wanakot's moved on, I think. And um, But uh, often, there's a concept in the show of breaking even. And in breaking even, they, the money they spent ultimately ends up with the money they made at the auction. So they didn't lose any money. They didn't gain any money. They just broke even, and that was not making. That was making zero. The 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 ledge was zero. It wasn't minus one. It wasn't minus twelve pounds fifty. It wasn't positive thirteen pounds eighty. It was zero. It was breaking the even, and in that zero, which is a normal mathematical economic concept, there actually is a lot of activity. So sometimes a lot happens at nothing. In comics, a lot happens at nothing, and serious stuff as well. I mean, it's taken seriously, zero issues as origin issues, and not just origin issues, but the first issue, uh, an ironic sort of number one, if you see what I mean. And often a prequel issue. So zero is a, a concept, even though it stands for nothing, but it's a concept in, in culture which actually has been used at times to represent things. So this is an introduction to Karite Adamai Noahide Faith Zero. And this, for the most part, represents the first 100, about 160, 170 videos extant in the playlist overall. We kick on videos before we get to an introduction to Karite Adamai Noahide Faith One. So this, in reality, Zero is meant to represent that era, which doesn't have an introduction to it. So... It's important that I suppose that probably actually has an introduction to it for the year and an introduction to the playlist as a whole, the playlist as a whole, and the site as a whole. So this technically, technically, this video needs to serve as that introduction. So there's no need to repeat myself and explain the details I've done in other introductions. It's suffice to say that it's about Noah hides and it's about the Hebrew Bible. And it's about early Genesis and how's your father. That's what we're on about. Okay. So, um, at the introduction of things, it's uh, for the videos anyway. It's back about six years ago. This is 2020, so it's about 2014. And I'm starting with elaborations of principles of 70th, going on, on basic Noahide concepts, biblical Noahide concepts. And there's a few early sermons like, the tree of knowledge, and I think perseverance comes in in a bit. And uh, I'm getting sort of formative ideas. I'm not really going gung ho at that stage, and um, doing lots of videos all the time. But it gradually increases the amount of rate that I'm doing videos until I'm up to my current rate, which is uh, the last few years. It's a standard rate of sometimes 30, 40, 50 a month, sometimes up, upwards over 100 plus. But it's, it's probably an average over the last couple of years on the videos I do. 
Well, there is an average, of course, and uh, varies around a bit. But um, but for that first era, it's this is the introduction. So we're about the Hebrew Bible, which Christianity calls the Old Testament, and it's also known as the Jewish Bible and the Tanakh, which is in three sections, Torah, Nevim, and Kephavim. And in some thinkings, there's different statuses of authority ascribed to the different three divisions of the Hebrew Bible. So, you know. So Kara and Ohites can make their own conclusions on the status they they ultimately afford in their thinking to it, to, to the Hebrew Scriptures. They reach your own conclusions. In, in this faith, ultimately, we reach our own conclusions. You know, It's what we generally affirm if we're Kara and Ohite. But we, the, the ultimate way of interpretation in Kara tradition is, is mostly your responsibility if you're going to take it seriously. You, you, you've got to make sure that You've got it right for yourself, and you're, you're right with God, and, and that you're responsible for your, your, your faith, in a sense. You've got to take it seriously. But in Kara and Ohio faith, we have guides, I suppose, people who espouse, expound doctrine and teach ideas and stuff, and I'm one of them, I guess. And um, this is about Kara and Ohio faith, which is the Bible. It's been in the culture of mankind for a long time now. Uh, we've known about it as a society for a long time, and a lot of people have bought it. Millions of copies have been sold. It's been the best seller in the world for a long time. Currently, books like The Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter are outselling it quite well, but it'll probably rebound in time. But, but it's a consistent long-term seller. It's the biggest book in the world, often. The Bible, and this is the Hebrew section, the Old Testament, which is uh, the Noahides and Adamites and the Israelites later on. And, um, it's it's Torah. Our faith is Torah faith, which is first five books of Moses traditionally, but it's teaching, I suppose. And it's Torah that uh, we follow. We don't follow gospel of Jesus. We follow Torah. We're not Christians. We're Old Testament people. We're Hebrew Bible people. We're Noahites. Also, Adamites named after the first man, Adam. Adamites, like Noah, Noahides. And even technically, the other patriarchs, the seventh of the list, Enoch, Enochites, and so forth, we can be known as that as well. This modern humanity so many years after the flood. So even a term like a Karite Methuselahite is valid enough when it comes right down to it. So that's what we are, that's what we follow. The covenant sign is the rainbow, and it's eternal according to Genesis chapter 9. That's what we're about. We develop our life out of it and our faith, our legacy, our witness, our history, our conduct in society, what we're about as human people. Acknowledging God that he is a creator and that he has a guidance and teaching for us in the Bible and going on with that faith, a biblical faith and covenant faith, which has a witness in nature as well. The rainbow appears in nature. So it's not just a biblical thing, it's a natural thing of a natural world. We're involved in the real physical world of planet Earth. It's physical life we're also involved with. Because God doesn't exist in a book. He exists in the real world, spiritually in this universe. So it's reality which is part of Kara Noahid faith as well. Not just a knowledge concept. So that's what it's about. We uh, try to be righteous. We try to be decent. We try to be holy, I suppose. We follow basic rules of conduct for mor morality and decency and uh, lawfulness. And we get on and we live our life to a large extent on our own terms of the choices we make. Usually there's a bit of guidance and suggestion of what we should do with it. But that's ultimately, as far as I understand it, up to us to a fair degree. Kara Noai faith is a, a religious faith. It can be quite a basic faith if you want, a mundane sort of faith. It's sort of up to you to a fair degree how you craft out your faith. The lesson and teachings you take from the videos in this No High Videos Bible, the ones you're drawn to might be the best way to go. What you agree with the most might be the best way to go. You don't have to agree with everything which is being taught. But essentially, if you're firm, current or high faith, normally there should be some uh, a reasonable amount of stuff which you resonate with. It's biblical no high faith, and that's where the ideas and doctrines and teachings are drawn from. So uh, Adam, Adam and Eve, Cain and Abel, Noah and the flood, 
Enoch when he got taken up to heaven, supposedly, and Adam and Eve's dispersion after the flood, uh, uh, Noah's son's dispersion after the flood into the nations of the world, and the Tower of Babel, that sort of stuff. Early Genesis, that's the foundation of the faith, and that's what Kara and Noah faith is essentially all about. So this is an introduction to Kara and my Noah faith zero. I'm Daniel Thomas, Andrew Daly of Canberra, Australia. No heights since 1999. Jeez.